Night number two of the Rowdy Nationals. We made our way over to the legend that is Paul Rizidlo. Paul, first things first, your outfit, love it. Uh, Tom Nesbitt retro. I kind of feel like the old guy these days. Yeah, there's a lot to be said for that, too, when you're out there competing against guys half your age, even a third your age, and you're going out there. Talk about the type of thrill that that is. Wow, I'll tell you what. These kids are super fast, wide open. I just talked to the chassis manufacturer. I said, if you lift the gas, you're slow. If I touch the brake, I'm backing up. What do we got to do just to flat foot this thing on an eighth mile track? He said, well, usually we don't flat foot on an eighth mile track. I said, well, here you do. You know, we've had a lot of conversations over the years, Paul, about the camaraderie that exists within the racing family in and of itself. You are quite a pillar of that community in and of itself. Over the years, over the course of your illustrious career, you've had to have met some amazing, amazing people. And to bring that here to Thunder Hill, that's got to just make it that much more fun. Oh, the kids come over every single day, three, four, five, a dozen at a time sometimes. They come over just to hear stories and uh, BS a little bit. And the fun part is most of the time they give me a good shellac in their view of them. So it's a really good time. Uh, they respect me. And even the parents-wise, they have the kids come over and eat, have beef sticks, and really get a good education. You know, it's interesting you talk about the education behind that, too. You know, they're obviously, you're, you're teaching them, but they're obviously teaching you as well. And uh, with your micro sprint, you pull a lot of data off of that as well. Now let's talk about competition, because it doesn't matter what age you are once you're out on that racetrack. What's your strategy going into night number two of the Rowdy Nationals? Well, I'll tell you what. I was at Proctor Speedway. A 14-year-old boy won the B mods who raced here. A 15-year-old boy won the A mods. My cousin Daryl Nelson was sixth. Jody Bell five, fifth. Now just imagine the kids coming out of here. I haven't raced any harder. So my deal is, is just try to hold it to the wood and hold on and it is tight it's the pucker effect and i will be getting out of there sitting on a wrinkled penny one of the things i've always loved about you is just that those sayings right there you crack me up paul i want to give you an opportunity now to thank anybody you would like to thank it doesn't matter if they're on your car now if they're here now throughout your entire career this is your, your time well, i just uh matt bowl and some of the stories just from tom nesbitt you know he'd borrow you apart but you had to take it off that night and I tell the kids these stories, and every once in a while we borrow parts back and forth. And I said, we don't have to Tom Nesbitt tonight, but I do want to see that next week. I absolutely love it, Paul. Paul, thank you so much for your time again. Love the outfit, and uh, go get them. All right, thanks. We'll, we'll give her what we got. Thank you. Freight is the backbone of the country. And as long as people need goods, they're gonna need somebody to get it to them. My name is Matt Boll with QualityFreightRate.com, powered by T-Force Worldwide. We provide LTL, truckload, and expedited freight services across this country. If your freight weighs over 120 pounds going over 120 miles, that's where my shipping rates kick in. We help companies ship easier for less. With our system, our customers are able to quote and book shipments with ease 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you're having trouble with damages, lost freight, claims of any sort, we can help you with our experience, solve the problem, tell you why it's happening and what you should do to prevent it in the future. Me and my team have been together for over 20 years. We know this industry. We can help all size business, big or small, we love them all, but we have a special spot for small business. Small businesses are pillars in the community. Low rates are critical for a small business because the margins are generally pretty small. They need to have competitive rates. They can't be getting gouged or they lose the sale. Freight is simple. People make it difficult. We work as consultants in the industry, so it doesn't matter what your problem is, we'll solve it. We educate the customers. We solve problems and we lower their shipping rates. And that's what I've been doing for 20 plus years.